In this video, I will show you how to use the downloaded version of the free open source citation manager, Zotero. In this video, you will learn how to download Zotero and the browser connector, sync your Zotero library, create a collection, add items to your library, and create a bibliography. The first thing you want to do is go to Zotero.org and download the Zotero application and the browser connector to your computer. I'm currently on a Windows device and using the Chrome browser, but this also works for Macs and the Firefox, the Firefox and Safari browsers. Uh, you'll also want to register for an account if you haven't already. Creating an account and using Zotero is free. So pause this video right now to download Zotero and register for an account. Please note you may need to restart your computer after installation. Once the application is installed, go ahead and open it up. This is what the downloaded version of Zotero looks like. Also note, that you should have an icon on your browser that says save to Zotero. You'll, um, you'll want to make sure that that is on, on your browser because it makes it very easy to save items to your library. I'm going to go back here to my downloaded version of Zotero and if this is the first time you're using Zotero, you'll want to make sure your library, your Zotero library syncs with the downloaded version and the online version. So to make sure that that will happen, go to edit, then preferences, and I'm here on the sync tab. I'm already actually signed in with my username and password here and my account is linked, but go ahead right now and type in your particular username and password. In this window, you can also see the citation styles that are available within Zotero. Through this Cite tab here, I can see all of the different versions um, of citation styles that Zotero has. So there's APA, 7th edition, American Political Science Association, Chicago, MLA, and if you don't see the style that you need, you can actually click on Get Additional Styles to download, um, to download the citation style that you need. So I'm going to click OK. And I actually already have some items already um, in my library. Everything that you save will be in my library, in your library. Every single item you save will be here. But you can actually create folders, or as Zotero calls them, collections. So you can create your collections based on your different research projects or papers or classes, whatever makes the most sense to you to organize your particular, um, particular resources. So I'm going to click here for new collection and just call this one test. So my test collection and say OK. So my collection is currently empty. But since I already have a few items downloaded here to my library, I can just drag and drop what I already have into the collection that I want it to be in. And I can click here and then I'll have all of that information. Now I want to show you how to actually save items into your library and your respective folders using what is available to you through Mercer University Libraries. So I'm going to go to libraries.mercer.edu and I'm going to use the library search engine discovery. So I know um, this is where a lot of you find the scholarly and peer-reviewed articles that you need for your research, so I want to use this as my example. I'll just do a search for type 1 diabetes and stress, then click search. I'm going to click 
on this particular article, Coping and Resilience in Adolescence with Type 1 Diabetes. And I'll see I have online access with the full text availability here. I'm going to go where I do have the full text access and uh, log in as prompted with your MUID and password if you see anywhere that you need to um, log in to get access. So I'll just click here. I can see that there is the full text PDF here. Now I'm just going to click here on the Save to Zotero plugin on my browser. And good, it is saving to test that particular folder. Awesome. So I'm going to go over here to my downloaded version of Zotero and look, there it is. Um, it even pulled the full text PDF for me here. So I can save all of my articles in the full text with the information and everything I need here in one place in Zotero. So that's how you can use, um, use the browser connector to save scholarly research articles using databases available through the Mercer libraries, but you can also use the browser connector to save a regular old website. So I'm going to just do a search for coronavirus statistics, CDC. Everyone's looking at those statistics right now, huh? I'll just click here on the first option. And then I can say save to Zotero. And it is saving to my test folder or collection, which is what I want. And let's go over here, and there we go. The website and its information is saved here. Um, and it also uh, saves the link for you, so you can easily open up the page again to come back to your information. So I've showed you how to save scholarly articles, save um, websites, but what do you do if you've already saved a bunch of research articles locally to your computer? Before you knew Zotero was so amazing for saving all of your research, you saved PDFs straight to your computer. You can actually easily add those to Zotero. Over here I have an example of an article um, that I saved to my computer. And if I just drag and drop it over here, it's going to pull the metadata from this PDF and create an entry for me. So the title, all of the authors, the PDF itself um, is all automatically generated for me just by um, dragging and dropping that, um, that PDF into Zotero, which is amazing. So if for some reason um, the entry doesn't look correct, you can add, um, excuse me, edit the entry uh, over here. So pretty easy to do that if you do see any errors. So that's how you add from a PDF. Uh, you also have another option to add an item. You can add an item by identifier, meaning you can add a book by its ISBN number or an article by its DOI or PubMed ID. So for example, if you have a, like a physical textbook you want to cite, you can type in the ISBN number. I am going to find an ISBN number. I'll just do a search for the textbook Child Development and Education by McDevitt, the seventh edition. I'm just going to click on the Amazon entry for that just for ease of use and scroll down here to my ISBN number to copy and copy this and then paste it into Zotero. So I'm going to go hover over here, add item by identifier, then control V, 
to paste that in the ISBN number and it pulled automatically pulled all of the information for that book here. So got the title, the author's date, everything was automatically pulled for me. So if none of those methods of using the um, using the browser connector, using the the, the um, identifier add items by identifier feature or dragging and dropping a PDF, you can add items manually. You want to make sure you select the appropriate um, the appropriate source type for your entry. So a journal article versus a book versus the website are going to be, um, the citation is going to be dramatically different um, depending on the source. So you want to make sure you um, select the appropriate type of source for what you need. So journal article, I'm going to say test title here, written by John Doe. So I'll say Doe, comma, John, and you can add, um, add your date and just all the information that you have available to you, you can add manually. Um, you can even um, add a PDF if you want. If you right click the item, you can add attachment and add a stored, um, if you have a file saved to your computer, add, add a copy of that file. So pretty easy. Now let's talk about how to actually create a bibliography of citations. So part of the magic of Zotero, aside from organizing and saving all of your research, is the ability to create bibliographies, which is why I'm sure most of you are interested in using Zotero in the first place. So to quickly create a citation for your bibliography um, within the downloaded version, If I say, if I want to um, create a citation just for this one source, I can right click here, right click my selected item and uh, say create bibliography from item. And I want to make sure I have the correct citation style selected. So I want APA style. Going to make sure my output mode is bibliography. And then my method is copy to clipboard because I just want to um, control V to paste um, to paste my citation into a Word document. So I'm going to say OK. Then I'm going to pull up this Word document I have here and just say control V. And there we go. That, um, that created the citation that I needed. So say that you, you know, actually want to create more, um, more citations at a time. You can actually create a bibliography from an entire collection. So if you use every single source in your collection, you can create bibliography from collection. And I'm going to make sure my correct um, correct style and modes are um, are selected, bibliography and copy to clipboard, and say OK. I'm going to go back here to my Word document. I'll get rid of this first one and say Control V to paste. So that did every single one of my um, of my sources and created the citation for me. Now, if you notice an error in your citation, which I'm actually seeing one here, um, such as, for example, the article tile, title not being lowercase, so in APA style, so this one is what I'm seeing, that is an error, just as an example, so, um, the title of your article needs to be 
in lower case with the exception of the first letter of the first word the first letter of the first word following a colon and any proper nouns so if you notice any of these errors you will need to edit the entry in zotero so although zotero seems like magic it is just a computer program that pulls data if the data in the entry is incorrect it doesn't know that which is why it's important for you to use your human eyes and brains to double check and make sure everything is correct so you can easily edit edit your entries in Zotero so this is the particular article that looked like it was in error and you can edit the title this way or if I hover over the title right click and say I want it in sentence case that will easily change um, the capitalization of, of um, my title, which makes it super simple. Now I will have to go back in here and edit for my APA style and change the first letter of the first word following a colon to be uppercase. And I'm going to make sure that there's no proper nouns. No, it does not look like there's any proper nouns in this particular in this particular title but you will want to double check that before just copying and pasting and assuming that everything is correct so you can easily create um, those bibliographies by collection or by the individual item you can even say you used um used five of these sources instead of all of them if i um hold my control key down. So I'm holding my con control key down right now. I believe it's command for um, Mac users um, and select my items. So I'll just select four here. And so I have four items selected Then I'm going to right click and say create bibliography from items. Again here, making sure all my correct things are selected. I'm going to say OK, go back over here to my Word document, I'll say break, and then just control V. So that just copy and pasted the four, um, the four resources that I selected. And it looks like here that particular source that I noticed an error on, the capitalization is now correct since I edited it in my um, Zotero application. So those are the basics of how to use the downloaded version of Zotero. Make sure to watch my next video on how to use the Zotero Word plugin to cite while you write, to cite while you write within Microsoft Word.